Hello students. Today we are going to study about aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration, we all know it needs oxygen. So respiration taking place in presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration. Now aerobic respiration takes place within mitochondria. So the site for aerobic respiration is mitochondria. The pyruvic acid is transported from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. So pyruvic acid, which we get from glycolysis process, that is a AMP pathway, it is transported from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. Now the important event in aerobic respirations are that there is complete oxidation of pyruvic acid by the stepwise removal of all the hydrogen atoms, leaving three molecules of carbon dioxide. So the pyruvic acid, which we get from glycolysis pathway, and there is a complete oxidation of this acid, and there is a stepwise removal of all the hydrogen at atoms, and there is a formation of three molecules of carbon dioxide in the end. Now the second step is the passing of the electrons removed as a part of hydrogen atoms to molecular oxygen with simultaneous synthesis of ATP. So there is a formation of ATP simultaneously. Now the first event takes place in the matrix of mitochondria. The second event takes place on the inner membrane of mitochondria. So Formation of CO2 molecules happens in matrix of mitochondria and the formation of ATP, synthesis of ATP, it takes place in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. This is the structure of mitochondria. We have outer membrane. This is the inner membrane. Then this yellow portion, this all is matrix and these are the cristae. Cristae are the inverginations of inner membrane only. So here there is a, on the inner membrane, there is a formation of synthesis of ATP and on the outer membrane, there is a formation of three molecules of carbon dioxide. Now oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid. It occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. Pyruvate, which is formed by the glycolytic catabolism of carbohydrates in the cytosol, that is cytoplasm, after entering mitochondrial matrix, undergoes oxidative decarboxylation by a complex set of reactions catalyzed by pyruvic dehydrogenase. The reactions catalyzed by pyruvic dehydrogenase, this is an enzyme, it requires the participation of several coenzymes. So along with this enzyme, pyruvic dehydrogenase, we need several coenzymes, including NAD plus and coenzyme A. So two coenzymes are required, that is NAD plus and coenzyme A. Now here you can see the reaction pyruvic acid plus coenzyme A plus NAD plus give rise to with the help of pyruvic dehydrogenase, this is an enzyme and uh, there is a presence of magnesium ion also. So there is a conversion of pyruvic acid to acetyl coenzyme plus carbon dioxide plus NADH and hydrogen molecule. So there is a removal of all hydrogen ions and there is a release of carbon dioxide. Now, during this process, two molecules of NADH are produced from the metabolism of two molecules of pyruvic acid produced, that is produced from one glucose molecule during glycolysis. The acetyl coenzyme, now this acetyl coenzyme, which is formed during this reaction, it enters a cyclic pathway. We call this cycle TCA cycle and commonly it is called as Krebs cycle. So all of this and much more we are going to study in classroom session. Thank you.